So, welcome to OpenStreetMap. Uh, I'm going to get you started editing today. Um, we're going to start off by going to OpenStreetMap.org. You can see here that the website starts you off uh, in the last place you looked at or in, this, in the country that uh, your computer is. Um, gives you a little bit of an overview over here on the left about what OpenStreetMap is. But you can start mapping by clicking this button here. That'll put you into the new user sign up page. Let's create a new account. That's my email address. And we'll make a username and a password. Once you hit the sign up button, you'll get an email. But you also need to read these words of wisdom here. Agree to the terms and you'll be able to start editing as soon as we con uh, confirm my email address. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. So now that you've confirmed your address, um, you can sign in by hitting the login button. I think when you get when you click on the email uh, confirmation thing, you'll get this page directly. All right, so now you're ready to edit. Here I am zoomed in to an area that I care about. Or you can also search for an address. Let's look for this uh, pub that just started up here in Chicago. I search for the address and I can click on this button here. It will pan right to that building. And when I hit edit, <coughs> we'll get thrown into the editor. Now normally, there's a walkthrough that shows up and will point, uh, walk you through the process of editing the map. Uh, I recommend that you do this because it's a really good overview of how the editor works and how you should use it. If you want to use the walkthrough again, it's in the help button over here. This button right here. That's frustrating. All right, so now that we're in an area that we care about, we can click on a building, and over here on the left is a list of features about that building. One of them is the type of feature. So for example, this is a restaurant currently. Let's say we want to make it a pub. So we click on pub after searching for the type and it has become a pub. Other things that you can change about the uh, location are its name, which is very important, and its address. Here in Chicago, a lot of uh, buildings already have addresses, so that'll make it a lot easier. It looks like somebody already added the website, so we don't need to worry about that. Once you're done, hit this save button here. Put in a message that describes what you just changed so that other mappers can understand what you did. And then hit the save button. And you're done. You just made a change to OpenStreetMap. You can click on this uh, view in OSM button and you can see the change. That'll show up on the map almost immediately. Uh, there you go. Congratulations. You've made a change to OSM. So another thing that you can do in OpenStreetMap is change existing data. Uh, one of the things that's happening in that same neighborhood is... Ooh, so this happens when 
your previous edit had some residual stuff left over. It saves your session in case you want to close your browser and come back. In this case, we don't want to save the changes, so we're just going to hit that reset button. This, con uh, this restaurant is under construction, so we're going to go through and mark it under construction. There's a construction type, and there's a note here. Looks like somebody already marked it as construction. So I guess we don't need to do that. Uh, we can, because the, the name will become Lou Malnadi's, we'll, we will copy that name into this shape. And also there's a point right here for the Golden Angel. And we'll delete that because it's not going to be there anymore. Let's save that. And we're done. Another change made to OpenStreetMap.